Right, so the film crew's gone back to Bristol now, um, and Jeffrey's come to pick me up. I'm Nathan Risley. I'm a wildlife conservationist from Indonesia. My mission is to explore and protect our wonderful planet and the creatures that we share it with. So join me as we explore the weird and wonderful wildlife, cultures and ecosystems, along with the amazing people who have dedicated their lives to saving our beautiful planet. So we're getting into Tashikoki Wildlife Rescue Centre now. There's the gate. I'm here at Tashikoki Wildlife Rescue Centre with uh, Billy, the director of the centre, uh, and he will tell us all about Tashikoki. So Tashikoki is a wildlife rescue centre. We basically are um, a place for the uh, to taking care of the animal that being confiscated uh, from the illegal wildlife trade, uh, uh, yeah, the authorities put it here. Uh, we taking care of it um, and do rehabilitation until they are ready to be released back to the wild. So, what's that noise? That was from Betty the Siamang. Uh, so um, she's one of the um, uh, gibbons that confiscated long time ago, but we still cannot um, send him uh, send her back to where she came from in Sumatra because um, lack of resources and also um, a rescue center that can able to uh, uh, accept uh, her there. Most animals in our center is uh, macaques and birds. Macaques is uh, the Sulawesi macaques. These are uh, Macaca nigra, the Sulawesi black macaques. Now, these are endemic to North Sulawesi. What I like about them, they're butts, very cute butts. I'm pretty scared of monkeys. I don't like monkeys. They don't seem to like me either. So they've got cute butts. They've got heart-shaped butts, pink heart-shaped butts, which get bigger as they grow older. They're often being kept as a pet since babies after they killed the um, adult one um, as a food, the bushmeat. So what, what sort of animals are commonly traded in the bushmeat trade? Snakes, monitor lizards, flying fox, still a lot of also rats as well. The macaques, you will find them also in the market. So it's not very good the bushmeat yeah. trade, is it? Yeah. yeah. Even these this, uh, macaques are protected by the law, so that means you cannot keep it as a pet or even uh, hunt them. Um, so that's why they get confiscated. So these are bananas. Uh, and that's Noldi, the keeper here at Tasikoki. Head keeper. Head keeper. So these are for the birds and the monkeys. They've got a lot of animals, so they need a lot of bananas. Not so always his hotspot for the illegal uh, wildlife trade. Um, so this block is for. Are these all lorises, yeah? No, not all lorises. Okay, here. what else have you got? You get the couscous here. Okay, good one. Oh, what a beautiful one. This is a Sulawesi bear couscous. It's a marsupial, meaning it's got a pouch and it's related to kangaroos. It's endemic to Sulawesi, meaning it's only found on Sulawesi and nowhere else in the world. Is there sleep? I remember these uh, bamboo walls. I think they were made by Paul and Gemma about three years ago. So with certain animals, it becomes a problem if they see each other um, because they're territorial and they might get stressed. Or if, for example, a bird sees a snake, it thinks it's a predator, so um, we don't want them to see each other. So that's why the barrier is necessary. Yeah. Still used now. Um, the difficulties that we have, because most of them came from outside Sulawesi, it's so difficult to send them back to where they came from. We've got some Bornean river turtles here. These turtles were confiscated from the illegal wildlife trade. Because Tasikoki does not have enough facilities to house these turtles properly, 
they're temporarily kept in these small pools in these uh, enclosures that are pulled in yeah. makeshift tarp enclosures they're pretty big big animals Uh, and um, paperwork is uh, a lot of things to be done. That's that's a challenge. That's a bug, and there's another one here. Please don't eat the camera. Wow. Okay, there we go. Cool. We wish to release them back, but it seems impossible. Why? In Indonesia, do um, the conflict. There's quite a lot of conflict with humans, and then. Um, Everybody's scared of crocodiles here. So lack of uh, awareness about crocodiles and uh, conflict management. Yeah, so that's quite challenging with crocodiles to be released back to the wild. Hmm. Look at that. Beautiful animals then. And also to find the release site for the local species here it's not easy as well because uh, most of their habitat are being disturbed. One more question, you've got any reptiles here at the center? Yeah, quite a lot. Billy here has got a uh, confiscated uh, python. It's an albino Burmese python. Uh, his eyes are a bit problematic. So, Billy, what's the story on this snake? So it was kept as an illegal pet um, with among the crocodiles as well. So. Uh, the police um, goes and confiscating it. Okay, so why is he in a box rather than in an enclosure? I can find an enclosure because currently also it's quite full now, or enclosure for snakes. And then, um, yeah, our fat team suggests that it's easier to monitor and check than put it in the box. Mm. This is <laughs> our um, how you say it? Recapture tools for reptiles. So this hook is actually made from. It's basically painting uh, for painting. They're all for painting. Wait, uh, why can't thing. why can't you get uh, an actual hook? Why don't you buy a real hook? Quite expensive and it's difficult to get. Yeah, the size. Actually, this is not big enough. We often handle also quite big snakes. This is a grab hook. There are also donations from um, uh, volunteers before, but this is quite wrong actually because it has a like reach. Mm. So to make it softer to able to catch um, snakes or any other reptiles, so we uh, cover it with a fat trap, so it's more soft. Um, and not uh, yeah uh, less harming for the animals, but yeah it's still also. Uh, need to be careful to be used. This is for snakes, sometimes for big pythons or crocodiles, so it's, uh, sometimes we use it also for monkeys to catch. Mostly it's used for dogs, right? Uh, but yeah, we make our own using a parallel pipe and also uh, like cables, so it's uh, thick and not to um, using plastic rope, sometimes it can hurt the animals or strings that can hurt animals, so use this cable. But the facilities, when it's origin established, is not uh, designed to holding reptiles. So we have to use what we have. For now, we use the, the aviaries and design it as a place for the reptiles. Two baby crocodiles. Mm -hmm. Temporary now. They're living here in the tank. Um, oh, I might have spooked her. I'm sorry buddy. Right, I'm gonna leave it alone now. Blue tongue skink. <laughs> so you got four pythons here? Eh? Yeah, the reticulated pythons in Indonesia is not protected. But these three are confiscated uh, in separated occasions uh, by the police and the forestry department. Uh, because they were traded together. Uh, with protected species. So they were transported together as bushmeat with uh, babirusa meat and also other uh, protected species in the car. So they were confiscated all, including the car. Because they're still alive, they were brought here. Most of the animals in Sulawesi locally go slowly goes extinct 
due to unsustainable bushmeat so there is no control for it so far in the market also you can find that these animals is not came from North Sulawesi only most of them are came from Central Sulawesi, Gorontalos and also South and Southeast Sulawesi why Same. don't they get animals from around here? Um, because it's quite difficult to find locally here it's why? probably already gone by the locals people here that uh. hunt them and eat them so if we don't do anything about it then all these animals might go extinct then yeah Tasakoki and many other organizations are doing great work to protect wildlife in Indonesia. If you'd like to learn more about them, check out the link below. See you next time.